My name is Kevin Sudo. I'm the CEO of Zachary Chicago Pizza. I'm Mark Dwight. I'm the founder and CEO of Rickshaw Bagworks in San Francisco. My name is Ron Lindenbush. I'm the beer weasel here at Lagunitas Brewing Company in Petaluma. And after 18 years of being one, I still don't know what a beer weasel is. You need to have an understanding of operations. And that means a lot of things, financial aspect, payroll, health care. We've got a director of operations now, VP of operations, that's going to oversee our Chicago plant and this one. He's got brewing managers, packaging managers, engineering managers. I mean, we've got a full team of management under him. So yeah, it's changed dramatically over the years. And that you have to as you grow. Many a person, an entrepreneur, has gone into business to make even, you know, cut and sew products. They say, hey, I got a design. They give their design to an agent. They say, here, go make this in China. And they get a sample. They say, yeah, the sample's good. Then they get a boatload of them. And all of a sudden it's like, whoa, this is nothing like the sample. What happened? Oh, there was a communication error or something. Well, now I, got a, I have literally a boatload <laughs> of product that's no good. In the restaurant business, I think the development of what you're doing is an art, but then it really kind of comes down to a science and structure of being consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. If you don't have a solid foundation in operations, you're always going to be trying to catch up. Our operations management over the years has changed a lot, really. I mean, we went from very little management and a lot of workers with you know, the few of the upper management really watching over everything uh, to a system that, you know, we've got 310 employees now, so we've really put together a lot better training system and operation system throughout the company and whatever functions there are. Now, this is a very interesting process because this is modeled after the way Toyota makes cars. It's called lean manufacturing. There's a whole method of communicating all this stuff down to the crew and down to the people that are making the product and make a change or in the service, you know, we're always tweaking. There's always little things that we change here and there. You know, we don't just settle for the status quo, we always try to be better. When you think about a flow to a business, we've set it up as we've known that we are gonna be able to grow into all these buildings, we've set up a flow. So from where the grain comes in, through the brew house, through the filtration, through the fer fermenters, to the packaging, and then the warehouse is all one big semicircle. So that's one of those efficiencies that you gain as you grow and you can kind of plan your space use better. So it's worked out really well.